This is Canafish Chunk, my extreme one chunk Iron Man. Our most recent chunk, ID12859, has landed us with a ton of grinds. Most notably, I need the Draconic Visage from Lava Dragons and the Vetion Junior pet from the multi-combat variant of Vetion. I have already ticked off a handful of these requirements, however, the big two remain. Join me today as I attempt to green log Vetion with extremely limited gear and a constant barrage of PK teams attempting to steal my Revenant Ether and ruin my day. Thank you for watching and welcome back to Canafis Chunk. <laughs> I was going to say starting off the video with an escape, but starting off the PKing with a start <laughs> quality, only the highest quality on this channel. Starting the video off by almost choking to death on my own saliva whilst escaping a PKer, so I would call that a big win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you ever seen a clip that good as the first one? I haven't. Go on then. Subscribe to the channel. I'm almost choking to death here to keep bringing you content. My stretch goal is to get 40k subscribers by the end of the year. And with your help, yes you, I think I can get there. So, go hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Thanks, sweetness. Oh, I can tell you for free, this is going to be a fun trip, uh... A fun trip back. Need to make sure I stay out of combat, actually, so that I can log out so I don't get killed by poison. That would not be very fun. <sighs> not the way you want to go. I would just let myself die and get teleported back to Ferox Enclave, but I've got these range pots on me and I don't want to lose them. And after the last video, I'm not entirely sure how that mechanic works <laughs> with uh, the consumables in the wilderness. So hopefully we manage to not lose these range pots. Oh, Scala Vetion. There we go. That is a unique officially. Uh, I've just been doing some duos with my buddy Inux. Uh, and we just got the Scala Vetion. That's very cool. There we go. I don't think it's worth like anything these days. Is it? Yeah, 66k. But that is the upgrade for the Thamarin's Scepter. So we now have the Corrupted Scepter, which may be an item that we use at uh, at uh, Lava Dragons, potentially. So pretty cool. Cool to get another collection log slot. 516 kill count. Nice start to this video. Um, I... I, I, I had very bad luck in the last one. We hardly got any uniques relative to the amount of kill count that we did, so it's nice to be starting this one off with a meaningful unique. That is pretty cool. So that means that the, what, the Void Waker piece is the last, the last drop that we need from Vetian aside from the pet. That is pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure that the, um, that you just craft this. I'm pretty sure it's an 85 crafting grind. There we go. You combine a Thamor and Scepter and the Skull of Etienne together to form the Accursed Scepter. That is pretty cool. Look at that bad boy. We are gaming now. We are getting... In fact, hang on. Let's grab... I know this isn't technically our best in slot anymore with the Mystics that we've got, but... We look like a baller. Look at that mage setup. We are flying. Oh, Dragon 2H number three. I really, really want the Ring of the Gods because that will actually be like just a straight up upgrade for me. So, oh. Oh, but it's going to be the next Th Thammer and Scepter, isn't it? Getting infinite Dragon 2Hs before getting anything else. Oh, that's so rough. Ah, oh, now oh well, I guess it's another drop. Uh, we got the Skull of Vetti on not too long ago, so I guess I can't complain. Uh, decent loot this trip, but, you know, the highlight is definitely the Super Stores. They're just very nice to have, because when we get Barrows, having, like, non-blighted Super Stores is going to be so, so nice. But yeah, Dragon 2H, number three. Now, 
Exciting news, everyone. If you've watched the last couple of videos, you may know that my employer imploded last month and I was made redundant. Well, after signing up a starter in Boti, Kick have decided to sign a main course in me. This means I'll be streaming Cannabis Chunk full time over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS from now on. This means not only far faster progress on Cannabis Chunk, but more videos for you guys and also my first ever live chunk rolls in the near future. I'm going live as soon as this video is up, so once you've finished, hop on in and join me for some Cannabis Chunking. Oh, it's just too easy. It's just too easy to get away from these fools. They don't know what they don't know what they're getting themselves in for. The goat <laughs> of wilderness escapes is just too much for them. Come on, put your back into it a bit. <laughs> oh, longbone. Come on, those are like pretty much the same rate as getting the uh, the ring of the gods. Come off it. Um, I'm getting very good now at doing five kill trips on one super combat dose, which is very nice because it means that we're netting positive on the super combat potions. I think with these, I've probably got about 20 doses in the bank. Um, so we're doing quite nicely these days. Uh, going this time of day means there's not many PKers. Even if there are PKers, I'm getting quite good at hopping away from them. And I can hop away from them about twice and make it back into the caves. So it will be pretty unlikely now that we don't get a full five kill trip. It would basically require me dying or making a lot of mistakes in the layer. Uh, so yeah, this is going quite well and I'm hoping I can keep net positiving on the super combats because I think I did like 50 kills in a row without super combats in the last video and it was painful. Uh, so having, you know, like nearly 100 kills worth banks now is very, very nice indeed. And another one. See ya later, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> they they think they can get it by instantly logging in on me. They cannot. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. <laughs> Look how many there were. So many PKs on me just there. Oh, it just it's so good every time. It's just so so satisfying to get away from those people. Because do you know what? I see them hop in on my alternative account, right? And I don't know if they think I've not seen them or something, but they like hop in, hop out, um, and then like clearly like call their team or whatever and try and coordinate. And it's so funny because they always try and coordinate and just fail every time. Oh, quick, log out on the out. Because uh, do you know what they also do as well, which I think is really funny and just proves that I really fuck them off by um, by hopping away like that, is that they they lock, they come back and kill my alternative account even though it's got like nothing on it and they know it just to like try and like annoy me and so i i know i've rattled them every single time i hop away it is fantastic <laughs> oh that was probably the closest one yet oh my god at least we got away with that I really thought I was cooked on that one, to be honest, but seems we got away with it and the whole team is like logging in and that, oh fuck, I went out the wrong one because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> A whole team, sorry about that everyone. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'd hopped world so I wouldn't have um, like ran into a PK over there or anything like that. Um, I'll run back and forth a bit to waste some more run energy because I believe that one's slightly further away, but um, yeah, oh my god. Oh, that was a lucky one, wasn't it? I sh Shall I go back to that world to like find the, uh, to get my loot? Do I care about the five pickaxes that much? I don't think so. Oh, another skull of Vetion. Technically unique, I guess. How many accursed scepters are we going to end up with on this grind? That is the most common unique, so it's to be expected. Uh, but yeah, the KC's kind of getting up there now, I guess. It would be really nice to turn around a Ring of the Gods or a Void Waker piece. The Ring of the Gods would actually be very useful for me, uh, and the Void Waker piece would look very cool on the ground because it'd be worth quite a lot and would add quite a lot of bank value. So hopefully you can get one of those two next. Okay, so some absolute goats in the comment section showed me something very interesting, which is if I type in death like this and turn off food and potions can form death piles, then essentially what's going to happen is all my um, 
all my potions like super stores and super combats and sharks are going to go into the gravestone and what that's going to let me do is essentially if i die to vetti on like a pvm death like no damage from a pk all my stuff will get instantly teleported to death i'll spawn here i can go into death's domain grab all my stuff and then head back up to Vetion. So I'll show you that on the next trip, assuming I don't get hit by any PKs at all. Um, and it sh what that should do is speed up my kills per hour by quite a lot. Ah, oh, Dragon Pickaxe number two. There it is. Looks pretty nice on the ground. We take those. PK just spawned in outside as well. Uh, okay, he's gone. Right, I don't need to bank it because that will protect over anything else that I've got other than my mace. Uh, I guess if I get Void Waker piece or, or two other uniques, I probably need to start panicking. But uh, we'll take the one dragon pickaxe. Look at that thing. It just looks nice in the invent, doesn't it? Very nice. Right, so I, I'm going to try out my uh, die with all my kit tech and then respawn back at Farrick's Enclave to bank. Uh, I'm going to just come straight back so there is no harm in killing Vetion whilst we do it. Um, I'm, I'm taking a risk here <laughs> because I've got two super combats from this kill so it would be ideal if I didn't lose those. So I believe I turned the setting on in one of the last clips. Uh, so this should hopefully work for us and I should go to death and I should be able to reclaim all the sharks, all the super combats and all the super restores. So there is the death. We should keep our mace and our pickaxe. Yep. And we kept super combat as well, which is very exciting. Uh, I should then be able to, I'm d as you'll notice, slightly less arrogant than the last time I did this because I know it can go wrong. So then I should be able to speak to death over here. Uh, can I collect my items from my gravestone now? Bring my items here. I'll pay your fee. Zero fee. There we go. Got all the super combats as well. Right. Let's talk to death. Uh, can I collect? Okay, I can. So. There we go. Right. So we got our super combats. We got our super store. And we got our sharks and all of our loot. So. We're flying. That is now going to be by far our fastest and best way to bank. And also means I don't really need to um, manage my run energy whilst I'm up there. Um, because what I can do is essentially use all my run energy just doing Vetion as quickly as possible without any worry that I need to also run back. So that is pretty cool so we are flying these days time to go up and get as many kills as we can before the 16 minute timer runs out can we get another kill in four minutes and 30 seconds let's find out and hope that we can we're cutting it pretty close 138 damage in one minute surely surely we've got this although the animation for death is quite long on this boss so come on just one more hit one more hit than that one more hit. Oh. Okay, we got there. 45 seconds still on the clock. Very nice indeed. Uh, how am I going to get out of here? I might just, uh, might just die in the, uh, in the layer outside. So, time to see if our death method works out here as well. If these things kill me fast enough. In fact, that's probably a terrible idea, isn't it? When there's an update happening for four hours. <laughs> I'll just wait to log back in and like not have my mace anymore or something. Okay, right. We'll just... Oh, fuck. I went out the wrong exit. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. Let's see after the update. <laughs> How angry do you think that guy is? That was like the quickest hop that I've ever done as well. That was crazy. Did you see how quick that went through? That was just nuts. Oh, Dragon 2H number three. We just can't stop getting these things. It's definitely going to be Theramon Scepter. I mean, that is more common than the Skulls of Vetti on R, so we are definitely uh, getting some weird RNG, but at least we're getting drops now. In the last uh, video, what, in our first 500, we got like three drops or something, which was nothing. So uh, hopefully our RNG's turn around, we can just start picking up some loots. And, and realistically, 
It doesn't particularly matter, does it? I'm really just waiting for the pet. Like, once I get the pet, I'll start worrying about the other drops. But my assumption is that I'm going to get all the other drops before the pet comes in anyway. I absolutely love this new death strategy. It's just so nice. Because I can just die so easily. These dogs will kill me. Will they? Go on. And then uh, I'm back. It's, it's like being able to teleport from level 35 wilderness. It is so nice. Because, um, look, you basically get a timer for it, right? So enter death's domain. And I have all my gear back at the bank by what? Let's see how long it takes us. Can I get my items from the gravestone? Bring my items here. I'll pay your fee into the bag. There we go. Oh, didn't quite get everything, did we? There we go. Chuck it all in there. Out we go. And we're back to the bank in, what, less than 30 seconds? So, yeah, way better than what I was doing before, which was <laughs> walking all the way down from Vettion. So we are doing well right now. Big level. 99 hit points. There it is. Whoa! 99 hit points on an extreme one chunk account without having to even get the task. Our combat stats are pretty poor in comparison. We had so much range XP that we got at Revenants. But that is 99 hit points. So we have finally got our second 99 on the account. And we still have zero skill capes. So uh, hopefully the next one we get is actually a, uh, you know, a cape that we need. That would be pretty cool. You know, a cooking cape, something like that. That would be pretty neat. But... There is 99 hit points. Absolutely massive. So, I grabbed some zeal whilst I was on mobile. Um, uh, you know, over a few nights. And I decided I was getting bored of waiting for 94 strength. So I decided to buy 93 strength off camera and thought, oh, I may as well get the actual level on camera. But we are about to get, I believe... 94 strength and 105 combat, which is very cool. So we are absolutely flying at the moment, which is nice. And with 94 strength, what that means is I am going to be swapping back to the attack. Uh, attack, what, what's it called? I'm uh, Accurate, accurate, so that I can get attack XP. Um, because I'm still quite inaccurate on Vettion. I think it's just by virtue of having incredible reflexes as our best uh, accuracy prayer. But... We are going. We are going. Come on. Let's keep... Let's, let's. So we're going to start getting levels a lot quicker now because we're a lot lower level attack than we are strength. And uh, yeah, we're pretty huge. We're pretty huge right now. Ah, <laughs> come off it. 600 kill count clip as well. And we get another Dragon 2 H sword. I am so depressed over that. Oh, <laughs> Why couldn't I have got something good when I was recording anyway for the 600 uh, kill count clip? That would have been so, so nice. Oh, that is a shame. It has to be said. <laughs> Imagine if I'd got the Void Waker piece or the pet on the 600 kill count clip. That would have been very nice indeed. Oh, another dragon pickaxe. We can't move for uniques at the moment. We've got, uh, what? Three, like, dragon uniques in how many kills? Like, eight or something? <laughs> Three out of eight on the uniques? I mean, safe to say we're turning it around. There is our third dragon pickaxe, uh, which means I can now lose two of them. I uh, don't know how I'd lose them, but I could if I wanted to. Uh, it's a shame they're worth so little. Um, one mil each seems really, really low. I feel like they used to be, like, ten mil. Uh, so I wish they still were, that would add nicely to the bank value, but, yeah, third dragon pick, very cool. Oh, straight into the 100 Ranar weeds drop. Oh, do I bank that? No, I don't really care about Ranars, do I? Um, they'll be nice one day, but I, it's, they're so far off being relevant for me, it's hard to even think of them as a good drop. Uh, so I'll just be extra careful on my uh, hops away from the PKs. It's not a bad time at the moment to uh, to be here. I just need to try and play as perfect as I can. But that's a nice invent. If I was a main, I'd be pogging all the way to the sun right now. 
Look at that. Dragon Pickaxe and 100 Ranars. And for me, actually, far more useful than the uh, than the 100 Ranars is actually the three range potions. Because uh, I'll be able to use those either at Lava Dragons or Revenants or, you know, whichever one I fancy. Um, to massively increase my DPS. Because obviously that is my only access to range potions. So having those is very nice and will make my Crawl's Bow even more overpowered. I mean, maybe I'll save them for something like Callisto or Venonatus. So... Yeah, we'll see. Oh, I'd just like to point out as well, the reason that I was getting Soul War Zeal was not actually to get XP. It was to bank some Super Restores because I can obviously buy Blighted Super Restores from Soul Wars. So, um, yeah, that's why I had some Zeal in the first place, but I was actually okay on the Super Restores and I was just absolutely sick of uh, having to train, uh, train Strength XP because I just feel like I'm so much more accurate when I'm on accurate. I feel like, I mean, I know it boosts it by plus three, but it just feels so much bigger than a plus three bonus. Um, so yeah, I really just wanted to get back on attack, so I decided to spend some of those zeal on uh, XP instead. So yeah, I'm not I'm not massively going hard on the Soul Wars to like max my stats or anything like that, because I don't have enough time in the day to do that <laughs> between all the Vettion kills. What? We just got another Dragon Pickaxe in the very next trip. Dragon Pickaxe number four. Four drops in less than 15 kills. Like, what? Can we, can we get the Ring of the Gods? I really want the Ring of the Gods because it's actually useful for me. And I just cannot stop getting Dragon Pickaxes. Come on! Oh, following it up with the 20 Sanfu Serums. Look at this trip. We're drowning in drops. Absolutely, positively drowning. Right. Uh, we're going to do our little death technique again. So we're just going to stand in as many lights as we can. Not that. So I try not to stand in those um, because it hurts my DPS. And if anything, I want to try and get some hits on this before I die. Um, but just look at that loot in the tab. That is juice. Oh, absolutely vile. Oh, another skull of Vetion. Come on, when are we gonna pull the uh when are we gonna pull the Void Waker Blade and the Ring of the Gods? We're like overdrop rate for both now. Um I would just really, really want that Ring of the Gods. And I think the Void Waker Blade would look so so nice on the floor. But we just cannot move for skulls and dragon two H's. And now dragon pickaxes as well. How many have I got now? Four? Or something. <laughs> Why is my RNG always like this? Why do I get like loads of one specific thing and none of something else? Uh, come on, Ring of the Gods. That would be so cool. And there is 81 attack. Not a very important level, but we'll increase our DPS a little bit. And, you know, onwards and upwards towards more important levels in the future. I'm thinking I'm going to get like at least 90 attack before training my strength again. I just think the extra attack levels here are so good because Vetion just, even though it's crush defense is like minus 10, it's just actual defense level is quite high. So I'm still quite inaccurate despite uh, having quite a high attack level now. So I just think the higher, the better basically. Ah, oh, another long bone, about 1 in 400, which is about the drop rate for the Void Waker and uh, Ring of the Gods as well, actually slightly less. So, still just getting repeats and repeats of items that we've had <laughs> loads of times already before we get the pet, or the Void Waker, or the Ring of the Gods, which is kind of all the three things that we really want. So, uh, yeah, back at it. Come on, I feel we're kind of knocking through the KC quite quickly now. 669. Seems like a lot, right? Especially of like the multi-combat variant. If this was Calvarian, it'd be between two and three times that. So uh, yeah, we're really kind of going quite hard. These kills take quite a long time because it's the multi-variant and because I don't have like a salve amulet or anything like that. Uh, but we're kind of getting through it. We're over two thirds of the way to a thousand, which is kind of crazy. Oh my god, another one! Three curved bones! Three curved bones from this grind so far in 709 kills. They are three times rarer than the pet. More than three times rarer than the pet. <laughs> I could have had nine pets in the time I've had three curved bones, and that would be less of an RNG anomaly than getting three curved bones. You are taking the fucking piss. Oh my god. God, make it stop. 
I'm really, really tempted now that I got a super combat potion drop and a super restore drop, and I've still got loads of food to go for like a really long trip. Uh, I'm already at five kills this trip, and I'm just tempted to go for like ten. Oh no, I can't because I've got only so many charges in my mace, right? How many have I got? 120. Yeah, that's only like one more kill. Rip! That would have been cool. <laughs> I got two out of three out of the door. <laughs> okay, I think to be fair, I think he gave it to me. But I did fool the first two. Oh, no, don't come back, don't come back, don't come back. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, my God. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was so good. I think the third guy, like, gave me it. But the first two, I definitely tricked out the door. That was class. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, big shout out to the boys at Pajibat FC. No. Pajibat CC, who are the PKers that actually let me go. Good on those guys. Thank you. Uh, don't let people say being a YouTuber doesn't have its perks because it absolutely does. But I will say, I definitely got the first two, even if the third guy let me go. But they, that, that, they, they forcing those other two out of the door. That was ace. <laughs> Got him again. Oh no, fuck his teammates here though. Quick, hop, 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 hop. Please get away, please get away, please get away, please get away. No! Oh, fuck's sake. Right, let's go. Oh, they're so tragic. As if I just got the 20 bloody sand foods as well. I can't believe that hop didn't work. I don't get why it didn't. I'm really confused by that. Really confused why that hop didn't work. Oh, that's so depressing. <sighs> well, at least we kept two of them. Oh, 82 attack. Resulted in us getting absolutely twanged by uh, Betty on there. Uh, but we are still climbing. I think the next one will probably be a combat level. I don't really want to advance too many combat levels before I do the... Um, the undead pirate grind because I think that's better if you're lower combat because at least the max accounts can't hit you there. Uh, but yeah, another attack level which I believe is something like a one second per phase improvement in kill time. So each attack level we get is saving us some seconds. Oh, another skull of Vetion, please. I just want the Ring of the Gods. It'll be so, literally so good for me in everything that I do from here onwards. Oh my god, like, please. I just want the Ring of the Gods. My buddy Koss wanted to do a kill. I didn't quite realise he'd be bringing a black axe as his weapon. <laughs> but that is kill count number one, uh, 750, which is exactly one half of the way to level, uh, not to level, to the pet rate. So, yeah, we're halfway there already. It feels like not long since I rolled this chunk, and we are positively flying. 750 kill count. That's kind of crazy. Uh, almost all of that is solos, at least, you know, deliberately, probably 730 kills of it are uh, full solos. The rest is kind of like random duos with people that I've never met before, that kind of thing. So, yeah, progress very good, and we still have nearly 500,000 ether in the bank, so we're not eating as much ether as I thought 
um, as I thought I would. So I'm relatively happy with this. Uh, I reckon we can get 1,500 in the net, what, in 1,500 comfortably in May. Uh, so that's exciting and hopefully we don't go too dry because it would not be very fun to go over that 1500 rate although I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world because we are getting some quite good drops from like the planks and the herbal supplies and the dragon bones and the gold ore and that kind of thing so yeah six and two threes I think if we go dry or if we don't they're all good Oh, another Dragon 2H. I swear I've got about five of every single... I think that's my sixth Dragon 2H. But I've got, on average, about five of each unique, except the three that I don't have, of which I've got zero. That is just bizarre RNG. Again! What is it with me? The things that you're probably excited for on this account is me getting the pair, me getting Void Waker drops. The thing I'm excited for on this account is this stack of Super Combat Potion 1 doses getting over 20. It's not happened yet, but the day it does will be a bloody good day. Right, I believe this is a rather historic moment for me, personally. Over 20 Super Combat doses! We are absolutely gaming right now. Look at the stacks on the super stores and sand foods as well. That's kind of mega. If we get like a grind like, uh, what's it, Theater of Blood or Nightmare or something, we're actually kind of stacked for that. And 144 range, uh, range 2 doses is kind of crazy as well. Uh, yeah. Wow. We're flying. Oh, Ring of the Gods. That is one of the items that we really, really wanted. Looks so nice on the ground with the red text. Oh, oh, that is nice. That is nice. Right, I don't mind staying because I can't lose that because I'm not sculled. Oh, that is the one drop we wanted. So now we just need the Void Waker piece and the pet to go. But that is the drop that I wanted the most out of all of them. Well, except maybe the dragon pickaxe, but that was kind of a given. But, oh, that is very nice to get. Look at that. Oh, that looked so nice on the ground. Oh, my God. So, the drop rate on the Ring of the Gods is 1 in 512. And it took us 787 kills to get it. So, we are dry. The Void Waker Blade is a 1 in 360. And we still don't have it at 790. So, we are very dry. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because we've got the pet, because we haven't got the pet anyway. Uh, so the log is looking like this. Looking pretty sweet, I must say. And uh, the reason why the Ring of the Gods is so big and I wanted it so badly is this is the gear setup that I take to um, Vetion. So plus uh, three from the Priest Ground, plus three from the... Uh, the what? As if they're just called the same thing. That's weird. Uh, and then plus two from the chain mates. But the Ring of the Gods is a plus four all by itself. And that is actually a big deal because if I put on my quick prayers, uh, it takes one minute 28 for those to drain down to zero if I just leave them on, right? Uh, if I put on the ring and then do my quick prayers, it's going to take one minute 35. So that's a decent little boost. And that is only accentuated when I only put on like uh, protect melee, right? Four minutes 14 versus four minutes 41. Uh, and then if I do like just protect item, it's like, uh, why is that so? Oh, okay. Uh, if I do just protect item, it's 24 minutes versus tw nearly 27 minutes, uh, with, with the ring of the gods. So, uh, definitely good to have a ring that's useful for us. Um, because none of the others that we have are. So it's very nice to actually have some stat bonuses on the ring. That will literally be my best in slot for everything. Uh, unless I'm sculled. It is, though, more valuable than my Vagora's Chainmate. So if I um, skull up by accident, uh, even with Protect Item, we lose our Chainmate, which is pretty scary. So I just need to 1 million percent check that I'm not sculling up. I've got PK Skull Protection on and I've got Attack Players always right click. I'm not attacking back at Vetion at the moment either. So it should be fine. But yeah, that is a bit nervous making. Uh, rest of the loot, though, is looking fairly, fairly good. Oh, how am I not getting the hop anymore? Like, I pressed the button 
way before they were there. Like, I don't understand how I'm not getting the hop. Who? Oh my god, how are they? This, right, I, right, this is 11 in the morning in the e, like EU time. Uh, what? 4 a.m. US time. Who are these people? Who, who's, like, got that many friends to be up, like, you know, having a sesh with the boys <laughs> at that time? I'm like, I'm a sad loser. That's why I'm on at this time. Why are they on with their mates? <laughs> <laughs> the one. <what? laughs> Sorry, I'm watching a TV show and just started laughing at exactly that moment. Um, 83 attack, 106 combat. I think now our super combats is actually going to boost us to 100, uh, level 100 attack when we drink it. So we are now officially better than a vanilla max combat account in terms of DPS. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the show I'm watching, if anyone's interested, is Skins. I've watched it before, but it is one of the best shows of all time. So give it a go if you haven't. And if you have, let me know one of your favorite moments in the comments. Oh, yet another dragon pickaxe from Vetion. I think that is number five. It's so tragic that they're only worth one mil. If, that was, if they were 10 mil each, that'd be like they used to be really not that long ago. That'd be 50 mil. Um, but yeah, five dragon pickaxes. So I guess we have some to lose or something. But yeah, fifth pickaxe, 821 kill count. Still no Void Waker piece, which is a one in 360. So if I was gunning for a Void Waker here, I would be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> this guy literally just got a skull of Vetti on, on my MVP. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is why I can't do this in teams normally. Um, imagine if that was like the Void Waker piece I'm missing. I'd be fuming. Oh, for God's sake. Skull of Vetti on again. Oh, why can't I go? I'd have preferred the 37 Dragon Bones, to be honest. Oh. Tragic. I'm, I might actually have like nine corrupted scepters by the end of this grind. Like that would actually be pretty fucking cool. Oh, we just got another ring of the gods, which means I have to bank actually, because if I get another drop, like say I got a Void Waker piece right now, even unskulled, I'd be risking my chain. In fact, no, because I can protect item. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to stay, and if I lose my Vigorous Chain Mace to get in another drop and then dying, I will violently throw up and, like, just, just, oh, God. I don't even want to think about it, but I can't. No, no, I'm going to bank. I'm going to bank. Screw this, right? We're going to die. Uh, chain Mace, Ring of the Gods, Ring of the Gods. That's all we're risking, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of losing my chain mates, I actually felt like conceivably quite sick. Okay, we made it back to death and we still have our Vigorous chain mates and our ring, so we are not we're not losing our Vigorous chain mates today. That just was not worth the risk. <laughs> I was, I just, uh, the moment of panic that set in was crazy. Uh, a bit gutted that I lost a super combat dose, but as you can see, I'm up to 25 at the moment. So we're kind of balling in that regard. So if I'd had like one dose left, I'd probably have been a little more um, inclined to stay. But because we've got so many, I just feel like it wasn't worth the risk. Ima like, imagine if I lost the mace. Can you actually imagine what I'd do? I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I'd obviously have to go back to Revenants and get another one, but imagine it took another 72,000 kills. Oh! There is the Void Waker Blade, and I can't believe it's 8 mil! What? I thought the Void Waker was like 120 mil or something. Like, what? Oh my god, oh no, I can just die, can't I? Right, I'll just die in here instead. Um, I thought it was really expensive, <laughs> it's only 8 mil. Oh, I guess the other pieces must be really expensive. Oh, that's so cool though, I got the Void Waker Blade though. Very cool, very cool indeed. That is every drop now except the pet. Huge. That looks cool on the ground. I love just the pink text on the ground. It just always looks so good. Right, so that was first kill of the day. I logged out <laughs> um, 
I logged out like in the Vetion layer and then went back in uh, poisoned and stuff to get a kill and then got the Void Waker blade. That's quite funny. Um, and then he, here is how you can tell it's going to be the first kill of the day. It's because I've not done my bank pin yet. So there we go. Uh, Void Waker blade. Very cool. So if we take a peek at the collection log for Vetion and Calvarian, where's that? Oh no, because it's a boss, what am I doing? Vetion and Calvarian, that is every single drop except the pet. So now we are literally just waiting on the pet. Exciting stuff. Wow, there's a bot farm. This is amazing. So there's all these guys that are all called like Vetion in some way, dressed in this exact gear. This is the third one I've seen. Um, and what's going to happen is in a minute or two, a PK is going to show up in like mystics and try and kill me and just leave him alone. Um, that's mad. Is there anything, anything in this game that isn't just botted to fuck? Because it's criminal how many bots there are everywhere doing everything all the time. Like, what? I mean, at least this is the first one that I've seen, but my god, it's painful that they're just literally everywhere. Like, I'm just going to have to leave, because the PK is just going to show up to try and kill me at some point. Yeah, there he goes. So I can see him on the alternative account right now. He's gone, though, because he thinks that I've left. That's crazy. That is criminal, honestly. Awful. It's a different PK that, that, that's on, that was on me as well, so it's clearly PK bots plus PK... Uh, Plus Vetion bots. That's nuts. Like, such a massive operation to kill a, a relatively easy boss. Like, just bizarre. I just looked up that bot that I saw to be like, oh, I wonder if he is actually a bot. He's got 355 total level with a 70 attack and 99 strength. And most crucially, 6,200 Vetion kills. Uh, clearly mostly solo, because he was trying to solo, he wasn't with the team. So, how much gold do we think that is? That must be mil, like hundreds of mil that that bot's brought in, all by itself. That is crazy. And there is 84 attack, yet another attack level. I do wonder how high we're going to get on this ground before we get the pet. One thing is for certain though, since uh, starting, what chunk did I start with the melees? The Elder Chaos Druid, oh no, the Mammoths, the Mammoths were first. I was terrible with melee combat stats before starting that chunk, but that plus the uh, Elder Chaos Druids plus the Vetion chunk has really sort of brought those back up to be almost in line with the range and mage. So we're now just a pretty strong account generally in like all the combat styles, which is very, very nice. And there is... 900 kill count. We are going crazy so far this episode. Uh, it feels like that's a lot for a multi-combat boss that you're supposed to do in teams. Like, when I get to a thousand, four figures in like a multi-combat wildy boss on my extreme one chunk iron man. That seems kind of crazy, doesn't it? But yeah, 900 kill count. Hopefully we can get the pets soon, seeing as we've got everything else. But if we don't, I'm not going to start getting annoyed about it until at least 1500. But, you know... Knowing the RNG on this account, we're going to at least 4,500 or something, surely. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just noticed that I hit over 100,000 death runes as well. That is pretty cool. I wonder if the Chaos Runes will get that. I actually get them pretty quick. Um, I think I started this grind with, like, basically zero. So, yeah, 34,000 in, like, nearly 1,000 kills. That's not too bad, but, yeah, these two white stacks look crazy. And here is a... You are fucking kidding me. And a PK just logged in. I was, that was going to be a 1,000... <laughs> a 1,000 kill clip. And we got a fucking curved bone instead of... That's over three times rarer than the pet. You are joking me. Oh my god. Right, 1,000 kill count at Vetion. With a curved bone to go with it. We love to see that. Oh my god, that's terrible. I have had, right, from this boss, four curved bones at a rate of one in 5,000. And only, well, zero pets at a rate of one in 1,500. You must be joking me. 
I it took me uh what sev uh, nearly seven thousand kills at mammoths to get one curved bone and at a thousand so, so uh, oh my god if i just got vetty on first i'd have had four curved bones wouldn't have had to worry about it would have got four by the time i got the pet at least maybe it'll be more than that you oh it's gone oh <laughs> looks like looks like curved bones don't uh don't carry over uh, death, so I'll bear that in mind in the future. But that is four in the bank plus the one that we just lost. Uh, so, yeah, we've had five curved bones now. <sighs> Can you actually believe that? On the thousandth kill, we got a curved bone. That is taking a piss. So, this is the loot that we've got in our 1,000 kills. Absolutely massive, I must say. Um... We've been doing very well in the super combats lately. I've gone several hundred kills now without not without not having a dose. So that is pretty massive. Five dragon pickaxes, six dragon two H's, four skulls of Vetian well, plus the one that's on our cursed scepter, one void waker blade, and two rings of the gods, because I've got one equipped as well. So very, very successful, I would say. Having all the drops bar the pet by one thousand is, you know, that's a decent, decent little uh decent little expedition into the wilderness there 24 and a half thousand gold ore that is as far as i'm aware about half a million smithing xp which really isn't too bad 3100 dragon bones that's roughly ooh, 850,000 prayer xp again pretty massive 9300 magic logs somewhere around the sort of 8 to 900k fletching xp range and 13000 oak planks around 780000 construction xp right there which we're adding on to our uh, you know over 1 mil xp that we got from the revenants as well so we're kind of flying in terms of uh, some of the uh, supplies that we're getting 1400 cannibals will be good one day and 5.7k super compost when i get a farming chunk that i have to do that is going to be absolutely crazy for me 2500 uncut rubies i mean one day we could turn that into rings of forging if we need to for some kind of smithing grind via iron uh, or, or and you know and, and or maybe even like ruby and diamond bolts if we get a rune crossbow at some point the possibilities really are endless and i'm very very stoked with the loot that we've got so far but um, I don't think this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to do in this video. I might try and have a look at knocking out some of the other chunk goals as well. Okay, peak the uh, the amount of people at Zombie Pirates in the U in the PvP world. Basically none, which is quite exciting. It just hopefully let me rack up some kills quite quickly. Uh, I'm using the charged mace. Uh, I've just logged in 30 seconds, so we'll see how long it takes for me to um, get hit by a PK or how many kills I can get in that time. We're starting Zombie Pirates off with 97 kills on the counter, so we'll see how many I can get in how long and uh, try and calculate a rate for the blipping scroll. Okay, so I've done an uninterrupted 10 minutes, which seems pretty unlikely, doesn't it? And I've got 85 kills. So times that by 6 and we're talking, what, nearly 500 kills per hour? Which really isn't too bad. I've got two Laren's keys and, uh, well, I'd love to tell you, I think it's about four zombie keys. Um, so that's not too bad either. And I'm just hoping we can just knock out this blipping scroll fairly quickly because um, it's an annoying item to have to get. But crucially thanks to the geniuses in the comments i have since found out that i don't need to get 91 cooking and the reason for that is that you cannot get um the raw manta ray from the larynx chest until you already have 34 fishing even at that point it is like a meme grind because you'd have to have something like 5200 larynx keys and the reason for that is that what you get in terms of uh, raw fish from the table is based on your fishing level and it scales uh, like linear linearly or cumulative one of them um, so basically, until you have 34 fishing, and I only have 20, you cannot get 
raw manta ray from the from the uh, chest and i have no way of training fishing outside random events and random events obviously aren't a training method so we don't have to get the 91 cooking we do however still have to get the 95 fletching and that was actually the bigger grind of the two uh assuming i get the veti on pet tomorrow uh, i'd have to chop the equivalent of about forty thousand magic logs uh, which would take a long long time at ents so yeah, not entirely sure what I'm going to do for that yet. Uh, we do, uh, we're do. we going to need to get a, a decent amount of Larynx keys from here, probably, because uh, the only way to get the dragon dart tips to actually make the darts is to get them from the Larynx chest. Uh, but aside from that, we're kind of open on how we're going to train the train the fletching. Uh, I'd like to do as much of it passively as I can just by getting the magic logs from Vetion. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to do a decent amount of these. Even if I get the blipping scroll like now, I'm probably going to have to just keep doing these because these are our only source of Laren's keys. Uh, but it's good news that we don't have to do the cooking because that was time that I'd have to spend at the Canopus meat shop buying sharks, etc. That I now don't have to do, which is good. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. Zombie pirates aren't too bad in the morning on a PvP world, uh, which is good news. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, let's hope we can get lucky. Hey, we just got a dragon scimitar from the zombie pirates. I don't know if that's, like, rare or not, but that's a pretty cool item. Not that I can do the quest, obviously, but weird. What a weird item for these to drop. And that's a pretty cool level. 85 attack. I, for some reason, have a lot of nostalgia over this level because I killed... Um, What's it? I, I got an Abyssal Whip back in like RS2 days, and I spent a lot of time killing Dagonoths on the attack playstyle, so I had like 70 strength, and for some reason, specifically in my head, 85 attack, which is quite interesting, I think. So every time I get 85 attack on any account, I go, oh, and remember my days wearing the cooking cape in the uh, under the lighthouse, training my attack up. So, yeah, good memories, and a good level for the account. Oh no, just after that clip we end up getting some PKs on us, oh no, I've got so many fucking zombie keys as well. <laughs> oh, and I've like got ether in here, oh this is so tragic, this is just sad. What are they trying to do? Maybe I can get away. Have I got a gap? No, I haven't got a gap. Okay. Oh, they're like exactly my combat level as well, which is just tragic. Oh, they're going to shred me now. Ah, oh, that's so sad. How many zombie keys did I lose? <sighs> See? Oh, this is why you can just never be happy in the wilderness. <laughs> I have never done more depressing content than this. I have been PK'd possibly five times in a row, and it is just pure pain. I absolutely hate it. Like, I'm not even losing anything except my time, and just, I try and value, you know, I try and value my time quite highly, and these bozos just, oh, I hate it so much. But... Uh, we finally finished a trip at, at- WHAT?! You are fucking kidding me. Please tell me that it- How could he get on me?! No! <laughs> Please! Ah, oh, it doesn't look like he's got freezers, so I think I might get away with it. But, oh my god! This is what I mean! Why do people- <laughs> Well, look, he surely knows he's wasting his time at this point. Why is he still following me? <laughs> There's just no logic. There's no logic there. Oh, fuck. Is it a oh, no. Oh, no. It's a PvP world and I'm teleblocked. Okay, he's run out of run. I am going to run out of run as well, but I and I don't have stamina's. Oh my god, why is the- 
I hate this so much. I just want to do something that doesn't make me feel great pain. Is that too much to ask? I just want to not be in the wilderness anymore. I just want... Why can't I get, like... <laughs> I don't know. Just some kind of tasteful grind. What can I get? <sighs> Nothing. There's no tasteful grinds. So they're all... Oh, fuck. Why was why when I was in the PvP world was it not showing these as uh, showing my chunk borders? Oh no! <laughs> I guess I just accidentally cheated. My bad. I tell you what, the eighty nine agility really came in stonks there because he must have started with nearly a hundred run, and I was on you know way less. So that is that is pog. Don't say pog. No one says pog for real. Well, except me, clearly. Right, I think I might shoot myself in the face if I carry on with uh, with getting zombie pirate keys. So what I'm going to do is just grab the ones that I've got and head over to the chest and see if we can grab anything from there. So I'm just going to grab my defensive gear like so and like that yes i do have the pirate ship rd chunk um i'm gonna grab my 23 keys looting bag i think stuff goes to the looting bag doesn't it and then i can what just grab a few restores a few sharks and hope for the best so let's pop that in there grab myself a pool of refreshment and then should i do this on a pvp world that's probably a bit of a dim idea isn't it but Fuck it, it'll be fine. Right, time to open us some zombie pirate keys. Will I be able to see what I get? No, you're joking. Will I be able to see what I get from these? I th okay, yeah, I will. And it does go straight to the uh, to the looting bag, which is good. The loot is quite bad for like the keys, well, because obviously it's just double. Um, it's just double what you get from the zombie pirates. Like, the normal loot isn't too great. Uh, so what we're really hoping for here is that we can pull the blipping scroll. Because if we can't, I'm going to be very depressed. Because it's going to mean that I'm going to have to go all the way back to the zombie pirates and build up another stack of keys. And it's not looking great at the moment, is it? I guess the adamant seeds are technically sort of a unique... Um, Right, there's 20 total. I think the rate is 1 in 275, so I'm not really anticipating getting it from this. Uh, but, yeah. The loot's not bad, though. 333k. Not too bad. And quite a lot of food there. And with that, if you want to see any further progress right now, you're going to have to pop in and see me over on kick at kick.com forward slash FreightRS. I'm live right now with more high octane wilderness content. Surely you want to be there live when I get the visage or the Vetion pet, right? Otherwise, thank you for watching. I would say we made some pretty insane progress this week. Um, slightly more than a week actually. Um, up to 94 strength now, so we've got our max hit. Up to 85 attack. I, I don't think of myself as a melee build kind of account, but these stats are starting to kind of prove something. We got our second 99 in 99 hit points as well. And on the items, we've just made such insane progress at Vetion. Six dragon pickaxes now, six dragon two H's, four skulls of Vetion, plus the corrupted scepter that we've got in the bank. Two Rings of the Gods. This is the best thing that we got this week. Definitely my favourite item that we've had so far. I can really feel the prayer bonus at Vetion. Um, and it's going to be useful for me pretty much whatever we do next. Things like Barrows, it'll be, be it'll be best in slot 4. Theatre of Blood, Nightmare, just everywhere that we use prayer, Ring of the Gods will be best. We finally got the Void Waker Blade way, way late into the grind. And we're starting getting some work on some Laren's Keys. The Dragon Dart tips are a 1 in 30, so I don't feel like opening 4 is really worth it. But on the next episode, we'll make a big push on trying to get some of those Laren's Keys, get the Dragon Dart tips, and then we can finally start training our Fletcher. Speaking of which, 10,000 magic logs that we're up to now. That is nearly a million fletching XP right there. So hopefully we can keep pushing that up. If we don't go too dry on the pet, we're going to have to go chop some logs. But hopefully if we do go dry on the pet, we get a lot of magic log drops. And then we'll be, you know, ever closer to getting that 95 fletching. 
Huge stacks on the death and blood runes now. This is going to be massive magic XP one day. Massive damage that I can do without having to use Revenant Ether, which is a huge resource for us right now. 14,000 oak planks, nearly, what, 750, uh, I mean, uh, nearly 800,000 construction XP right there. Huge stacks on the super, combast, uh, uh, super compost and the dragon bones. The gold ore stack is looking kind of massive as well, even without goldsmithing gauntlets. That's half a million smithing XP right there. And then lastly, one thing that I've not really noticed so much in the episode, but 320 vanilla super stores. That is a lot. Like, that's really a lot. And, you know, if that can keep going up, one day we're going to have a lot of potions to go and kill some non-wilderness bosses, which is rather exciting. But with that, it is time to thank the ever-growing list of channel members the guys that go through the website massive thank you that is the preferred method but the youtube guys you know we respect the fact that people you know may only be able to do it via one method and the channel members as always are at the amethyst tier fontcest talfane patrick wright jern scallon sir yolo mike moran and fuklas at the rune tier we've got Crito, cyanscape Cornstalk Hands, Jesse Emelian, Adam Cornick. At the Legend tier, so many of these guys now. We've got El Pinin, Brad Norsium, Come Crumpet, Teeters, Uberhasu, Baseman, Alacy, Draco Ranger, Pierre Totari, Just Taxland, Girk, Can't Even Fly, and Douglas Sears. And then at Gold tier, as always, we have all of the OGs and all the people that have joined since. Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Asharanka, Spooky Pasta, Carstman, Hannibal, Potatis, Wimble, Chas John, Only Moly, Played Pancakes, Ed Manta, Man of Gold93, Dominique G, Luke Davies, Sor uh, Soren Pedersen, Morse Co. Shib oh god, I was doing so well. Shibab Shibadiba, Loon Master Flex, Big Fuzzy Hat, and Pants Pooper, which is my new favourite of the Patreon names, I must say. Uh, why don't I say Patreon? I don't have a Patreon. I've got a website. And I've got a YouTube membership scheme, either of which you're free to join. Anyway, thank you for watching. Come join me over on Kick right now. I'm sure we're all having lots of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.